What is up everyone? Welcome to this episode of The Toy Freaks. Today we have another exciting pickup video for you. I wasn't in on the Transformer Micro Machines, but now they've included a chase car. Aw yeah. All right, so first pickup this time around is the Transformers Micro Machines from Series 2. I don't know if the Series 1 sold that well. Uh, Micro Machines has decided that they don't want to make regular licensed cars and make a bunch of money anymore. So they went to these Transformers, which don't transform, and I didn't really like them. Uh, this is Transformers Age of Extinction, Series 2, all that stuff. But it includes this awesome translucent uh, Bumblebee, which is the chase car, which they did not have a chase vehicle as far as I know in the first set. So it's like, ah, first set didn't sell very well. The series one didn't sell very well. So let's include these chase cars in the series two sets because that worked in the license sets. Ah, what are we doing here at Jazzwares? But you do get some cool cars here. We got Lockdown, Crosshairs, Drift, and of course that really awesome uh, Bumblebee. I don't know. So if I didn't say I got these at Target, they're like 10 bucks, and uh, that's where I got these two packs. Now I have a whole set of these two packs, but I saw this hanging on the shelf, and because they're not making cars anymore, I wanted to make sure that I got another one of these police motorcycles, because that's something that I'm not sure if they're gonna continue to make uh, in the future, because like I said, we've gone six series of Micro Machines, two Transformers, and they haven't started making cars again. So I was kind of getting a little cold feet, like man, are we ever gonna get another police uh, motorcycle? I don't know, so I just grabbed this. These are like $4, so pretty affordable, and it also comes with a uh, very nice Bugatti, but yeah, I'm gonna put that in the box and save that. Kids college fun right there. So I stopped by the Heath flea market, and I uh, picked up these Micro Machines here. These are vintage Micro Machines still in the package, and guys, there is always a premium on like service vehicles, uh, public transportation vehicles, stuff like that when it comes to the Micro Machines universe. These are still sealed in package. You gave me a great deal. And uh, I also got some gaming stuff there, so I'll leave a link to my gaming channel down below, and uh, you guys can check out that pickup video. But uh, yeah, he gave me a very, very good deal on these, and uh, wow, just exquisite. Farm fresh milk truck, West Coast produce truck. Look at that, very, very cool. Uh, the best part about these, in my opinion, is the back. Uh, now, I have a couple sealed micro machine sets that I got from Mr. Matthews. Link to his channel down below. Make sure you check him out. And uh, he sent those to us for free, which was great. I showed those off in previous videos. But uh, the guy that uh, my contact got these from says that the guy that brought these into the store, if you're following, said that he's got more of these in a tub somewhere and that he's gonna bring them in. Now, Brian knows that I will gobble these up and I will buy every single one of them. So uh, yeah. Very cool, so that was the semi-truck one. Here's the public transportation one. The school bus, we've got a, what is this, a Valley, Tri-Valley bus right here, and then some type of RTD, uh, public city transportation bus from the Ultra Fast series. You can see they're yellow, and uh, when you turn them over, it's kind of color-coded on the back, right? Here's the Turbo Wheels collection, they're in yellow. So uh, yeah, very cool to see sealed Micro Machine sets. I also snagged these at the flea market. Now I dim the lights, so I'll turn them up a little bit. See how it like gets all glare like? So I just turned the lights down a little, but I really wanted to show off the colors on this thing because it really kind of pops. This is a uh, vintage micro machine. This is from the Tough Tracks. It's got real rubber wheels. It is the Water Walker Monster Truck. Very, very cool. And uh, he had that one a little bit underpriced, actually a lot underpriced. And he also had this one way underpriced. This is a demolisher, brick demolisher with the brick paint job. And a very, very cool car. I'll have to uh, clean up the wheels a little bit. You can see there's something on there and they're a little out of whack. So I'll have to take it apart and uh, bend those tire rods back. But yeah, for uh, cheap, 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 I will buy, buy, buy these vintage micro machines. Uh, that is for sure. All right, we did get some Lego stuff. Uh, they had these vintage cases, man, 1984, 1985. This one was actually made in Denmark. I apologize for the lighting. Kind of see the Lego logo. 
uh, right there. It's much more briefcase like, but this one is very cool. I don't ever see this one. This one's an eight and a half by 11. This is sort of the standard version that we all remember. And as you can see, it is a lot smaller. So uh, yeah, got a good price on those, but I wanted to show those off. This one's actually worth probably two or three times more than I paid for it. Uh, like I said, 1984, 1985, but it was made in Denmark, which is cool. Also, while I was there, I got this uh, really cool Micro Machines vintage uh, case. Now, you guys have seen one of these before. I have one already, but uh, yeah, you open it up. It's a Micro Machines case. <laughs> Terrible lighting. I'm sorry, but it won't fit in my light box. Anyway, let's go back to the light box where I have some minifigures. All right, so last thing that we got, we got some minifigures. Now, this guy had these, these Lego sets, these Nexo Knight sets uh, for $5. And I thought, well, <laughs> you know, the minifigures are worth about $10 each. So that's a no-brainer of a buy. Uh, but they are complete with their mech suits. Now, if you don't remember Nexo Knights, you're not alone. Uh, Ninjago was so popular, and then they wanted to kind of double down. And they came out with Chima which failed miserably, even though I like those figures better than the Ninjago figures. And Nexo Knight failed worse than Chima. So uh, yeah, it only had about a two year run, 2016 to uh, 2018, but I love these figures, man. They're very, very cool. And uh, if you see them out there for cheap, make sure you buy them. They're not vintage yet. They're not like super collectible yet. So if you can find them, definitely grab them. And then it, he goes, he goes, I just put some mini figures out yesterday and I looked through his thing and he had the gold Harry Potter from the 20th anniversary. So this was uh, 1998 to 2018. And uh, they made a bunch of these Harry Potter figures in that pearl gold and they distributed them in different sets, you know? So if you bought like whatever set this guy came out of, uh, you would get a gold figure in there with the other mini figures and yeah. Very, uh, very interesting, and uh, again, not vintage or rare yet, but uh, they kind of will be, you know what I mean? Harry Potter is a huge franchise beloved the world over, so I'm sure that figure will be more worth more than the $3 that I paid for it pretty soon. The last figure I picked up, very cool to have this one because I only have this figure in the box, but this is Din Djarin from The Mandalorian with the Beskar armor and the arm printing all the majesty of the Star Wars universe, full display right here. Uh, we got the jetpack. My only complaint is that it's not this Beskar color. It's more of a gunmetal gray color. And um, yeah, very, very cool figure here. But those were the minifigure pickups. Well, guys, that is going to do it for this episode of the pickups. Which were your favorite? The minifigures, the new Micro Machines, sealed Micro Machine goodness. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below. We'll see you guys next time.